All right, YouTubers, what's popping? So yesterday's plan, or last night's plan, well, yesterday's plan was to go to, well, my plan was really to go to Columbus because I had to take some stuff to Jerry's Mat. And then from there, I was going to go to Collinswood, being that Collinswood would be closer to English, I mean, to Columbus than English Town, and then from Collinswood to English Town after um, Columbus. But I decided, you know what, I'm not going to go. I'm, I said, you know what, <clears throat> I'm, you know, um, English Town is further up, going more my way. It was chilly as shit this morning. So me and Isaiah walked around uh, Columbus. I got some stuff. Then from there, he stayed in the car in English Town. So I was walking around for over an hour. Um, and I got some stuff. So um, I do remember this one kid. I paid him. I think he gave me a whole bunch of shit for like 20 bucks. And as I was walking off, he was bragging to some of his friends how he got rid of all that garbage. Which is ironic when you guys see what it is. Um, so he was like, yeah, dude. Yeah, the dude brought all that shit. Thank God I had this shit just sitting in my garage, man. You know, he brought all this, he brought all that garbage. I'm so happy. I meant to turn right back around and say something, but you know what? One man's garbage is another man's treasure. And the shit that I have, some people just have stuff, they don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And, you know, he had clothes and other stuff, and I guess that was priority to him, which toys and comics and video games is more priority to me, but to each his own. Um, and then um, I brought some stuff from another dude that normally has like a huge crowd early, early in the morning. Like when it's even in the summertime when it's like fucking five, four, four fifty, five, five a.m. Uh, you still need flashlights, you know, kind of kind of person. But I got one bag of stuff off of him. I think I brought a bag and I think I brought two figures from I mean, um, I, I don't remember who I got what from. So I'm just going to leave it as that. And then from there, um. The only thing I got in English Town, well, I, you know, I went to see Tony anyway and um, to drop off some stuff to him for his son, uh, some stuff he uh, he copped from me. And as I was doing so, I wound up getting this, which is that. I'm going to explain all this in a sec. And um, I did some research on this um, Steamboat Mickey um, cookie jar. I know cookie jars have value because people do collect cookie jars. Um, I didn't know, I, I thought if this was in black and white, it'd be, it'd be a lot more because obviously Steamboat Ricky was originally in, um, black and white. Yes, I did watch Disney growing up. Doesn't mean I like them. I don't like Disney as a company cause they've done a lot of racist fucked up shit, but it so has Looney Tunes and Wonder Brothers, but to each his own. I still don't really like, um, Disney. I mean, I love their stuff, but I don't love it at the same time. You know, I grew up watching this shit, but eh. You know, when you get older, you you know, what I'm saying you you look, you know, what I'm saying you look and you see all the subliminals and all that stuff. So those are the reasons why I don't like Disney. But that's a whole nother video. Um, so real quick, I'm gonna you know show you guys shit in sections. So basically, everything from the Rocky shit all the way to here, around the car to here, I got from um, Columbus, and the car itself. This um, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, Jack Sparrow, and that Cybertron, I actually got from English Town. All right. So, starting first, um, this kid sold me all these toys. Uh, this thing alone is worth money. Uh, this is Steppenwolf, and he does have his uh, his uh, axe and his stuff to it. So, he's, he's, a, he's a couple of bucks. He's probably, you know, he's, you know, he's, you know, then you got, um, it's not Booster Gold, Dr. Fate. He's seen better days. I don't know this guy's name, but I just grabbed him because I thought it looked all right. He kind of like a fake ass bootleg. He actually looks like Brad Pitt in the costume, don't he? And Brad Pitt is kind of built like that anyway. He's not over muscular or nothing like that. So that, that could be Brad Pitt. Um, this I got from the guy I was talking about, uh, the white guy that always has like a lot of tin and, and old toys. I don't know why the hell I brought this bag, to be honest. I saw this and I thought this was like a regular G.I. Joe. That's why I brought the bag. But now looking more closely at it, it's garbage. He charged me $5 for the bag. Um, you got here X-Wing Fighter Luke. You got a Hoth, um, Han Solo there. You got... Admiral, General, whatever his damn name is. Then you got here another a rebel trooper or something like that. 
Um, and then you got some, uh, what do you call it, these lanyard figures. I don't think it was worth me paying five bucks for it, but whatever. It is what it is at this particular point. I don't remember what the hell, where I got these from. Um, this, uh, Ultimate Soldier. This is a Jack Pacific, I believe, which normally I don't get these. So I probably was like just in a moment when I got this. Then here we got this um, Decepticon. I'm going to take it upstairs and see if I need him because I think he transforms into something. I don't know everything. I can't remember everything. I, I, I collect and have and, and know too many toys. But he may be a piece I, he may be a piece I might need for one of my for my combiners. So that would be cool. Ironically, um, the kid that sold me all the stuff, the stuff that I was talking about, um, this stuff here, the Thundercats, this Raphael, this Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I got from somebody. I don't know who the hell I got it from. I don't think it was this guy. Uh, I don't know who I got this from. I think I got this stuff from him, which is ironic because this heavy set dude that's always they used to always sit up next to me, well across from me. Um, this one dude had um, a nice, uh, you know, a nice transformer um, headmaster and another and, and something else. And he told him seven bucks on that. But then he wanted to fucking charge me twenty dollars for some busted shit. So I just put it down and I was like, you know what? Fuck him. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. So I think Tito's I think Tito. I don't know one one or both. Of these. I don't know where the hell I got them from. But if I'm not mistaken, I know that I know the uh, the guy, and of course, Fam Alex might remember him from last season when we were when we went to the uh, the Cherry Hill show, and you know we went to Columbus first, and he got all those uh, one six scale um, freaking um, weapons. The same guy who um, who sold who sold him that stuff. I got these things for from. He had, I think he had two figures that were marked $8, $8 each, and I think two for 14 or 15 Then the other ones were $5 each and two for 8 or some weird price like that. Um, so I took, every, I took everything he had that I, that, that I knew had some kind of value that was worth it, and I figured he'll give, you know, he, he always give you a good deal when you bundle stuff. Everybody does that. I mean, that's the fucking point. And um, I got this Pirates of um, Dark Water guy. I already have him, but, eh. I'll wipe these down and uh, I'll clean them all up, let them air dry, and then put them back out. Um, this dropped a lot in price. I'm actually surprised that this dropped. Um, this is the Hunter from Resident Evil. Ooh. You know, you turn a corner, he just wipe. You know, he takes your life, just wipe the fucking head right off. Whoop. Um, they dropped a lot. Resident Evil, the Resident Evil figures used to be worth a lot of money, but he dropped. You got Thunder Punch He-Man. I mean, he's seen better days, but he could have seen worse. I mean, he should still be like a $15 figure all day. We got Tito Santana and ho! Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ho! <sighs> then we got this... Uh, I forgot what they call these uh, Sua talking or something, uh, Raphael, which is funny because the heavy set guy that I was talking about, I think he had Donatello or, Le or Leonardo. And um, it's just ironic how he had him, um, this guy, and some other stuff. But his price he wanted was ridiculous. So I just put him down. You know, if I don't like a price, I don't, you know, I, I very rarely disrespect somebody unless they come at me. And I just say, all right, thanks. And I just, I keep it walking. I don't, I don't take it personal or whatever. But if your price is a fucking nuts, I'm going to tell you. But this one lady, I was like, oh, how much is the hot chocolate? She sold me a small, she showed me a small cup, a hot chocolate packet and said, three dollars. I said, nah, you keep, I said, man, you out your fucking mind. I said it just like that. Because that was just surprisingly, retardedly stupid. So I said something to that. But anyway, um, going back on, I paid five bucks for this. This stuff, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think I paid 50 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to say maybe nine. I, I can't remember which one of these two I got from somebody. Um, same thing with these. I know that I got that one older white guy. I paid five for this. So I probably paid like seven or no, ten. I, I remember now because I gave him a 20. He gave me a, a five dollar. No. 
No, yeah, it was 10 and 15. Yeah, so I paid 15. So it was this, and I think these two, or something like that. Because he said, oh, he was selling them for X, Y, Z. But or I don't remember. Whatever the fuck it was. Maybe it was 10 for both. or I don't remember. Whatever the fuck it was. Who gives a shit at this point? But this kid I got all this crap from. Um, I got the Masters of the Universe. Uh, I think this is Revelation Moss, man. We got um, Toy Biz, uh, Marvel Legend, uh, Doctor Strange. This is, I think his name is Mongrel. I forgot his name, but he's definitely like the older um, DC Classics wave. Really, really nice figure. I love these figures. I don't know what happened to that. Um, same thing with him because he's not uh, seven inches. So this is basically the same thing. So these two are DC. Then you got uh, Wonder Man. I believe this Wonder Man is a later ver He might be Toy Biz. You got Iron Man. He's another DC character. I don't know his name because I don't know DC like that. We got here um, Iceman, Hawkeye. You can call him Power Man, Luke Cage, whatever the fuck you want to call him. You know, Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's not Brad Pitt. I think this is Supernova or Spider-Man something. Uh, and then you got these ones here. You got Cyclops, uh, Robin, Iron Man. Dr. Fate, Steppenwolf. You got um, Pug. Then you got these stands that go with maybe one or two of these guys. I don't know. Then there's more stuff in here as well that I got from him. So the fact that he was happy and bragging about how he finally got, you know, somebody brought this, as he called it, quote unquote, junk. Again, another man, one man's junk is another man's treasure because... I got a phenomenal price on all this shit. He just told me to give him 20 bucks for all of it. Yes. Including this stuff. So I got all this, including these uh, Hot Toy type stands. I don't think they're from Hot Toys, but they're similar to what Hot Toys and them use. For one six scale figures, obviously I collect these things, so I know that. I was excited to get those. Um, and then you have here... I don't know who this goes to, but maybe I have the, the figure goes to. Here's another one, which looks like a, a human torch would go to it, I believe. Then you have this piece that I believe is uh, Iceman's thing. Like, you know, like, I'm pretty confident it's probably for that Iceman in there. Um, I don't know what these, the, I think these are like, never seen these before. This might be something custom. But, yep, got some more crap here. Um, you got two of these Hawkeye type um, <clears throat> bone arrow sets. I'm going to I'm gonna take a guess and say that one of these two, I think, I, I think this one here goes with him. So, yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff back in there. Um, I paid 20 bucks for all that. This stuff in here. Along with all of these figures, these two stands, these figures here, these three, this one, and him. I got all that stuff for 20 bucks. So again, I'm going to show you. You got all these. There's only three. There's one, two, three, four, five of these. But there's only three of the actual, um, these things. Then you got these stands. Um, this is probably... I, I'm going to go on a limb and say this probably goes to like an Iron Man or something like that. While this one most likely definitely goes to Human Torch. This goes to um, Sinestro. And all these things are anywhere from $10 and up. Even this is probably like worth 10 or more. So yeah. These are worth $5 by themselves. Even though brand new they sell for like 10 bucks, But you got to order them from China. So... Yep, Dr. Strange here. So we got Dr. Strange. We got these two. We got these two. Oh, Moss Man fell. You got Wonder Man. Ah, again, Moss Man. You got these three. You got these three. You got Pug, Star-Lord, I believe. 
Captain America. This vinyl, uh, I think Konami or Bandai Ultraman. These two stands. These two. And these three for the one monies of 20 bucks. And I don't remember where I got this from, so I'm not gonna even sit here and lie. I don't remember. I don't remember what I paid. That's going upstairs. Five bucks. I don't know why I did that. Tito Santana and um, Hacksaw Jim Duggan and all this stuff I got. One of the one one of these two I got with the rest of this stuff from the guy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I don't remember, to be honest. I don't want to speculate. I like to be as close to where I know my money is as, as possible. And I don't think I can get there. So, yep, that's what I got um, today in uh, Columbus. Along with this stuff here. Which needs to be cleaned. Um, I actually paid. Uh, I'm not going to say what I paid for this. But I paid about 100 bucks. I paid about $100 for these three. And this GameCube. And you know. What's a call? I asked for a GameCube before. So yeah. Now you may have one. Then these three. And this I also got from uh from somebody I'm, I'm cool with. He uh sold me both of them for uh, ten bucks for the ten, ten bucks for both. They only they're around eighteen bucks sold on eBay each, so it's not much there. It's like an eighteen dollar profit on the both of them, which ain't shit. But I took them anyway because you know, Monster High stuff's always worth money. Even if it's new, sooner or later you hold on to it, stuff goes up. And there should be no regards on what they sell them for on eBay at 18. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to get 15 each for them. Especially if I get rid of them during or by the holidays. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, this thing here. Uh, it's really nasty inside, but I'll probably try to do something with this. It's banged up, but hey, it's old. Um, oh, and of course, these items here. Now, this, the lady only wanted, I asked her how much, I thought she said 50. And she said, no, 15, 15, 15, 15. I said, oh, 15. She said, see, see. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. As soon as I went to take it, this other guy was like, damn. The guy next to her was like, yeah, I know I should have took it. And I said, well, you know what they go for, right? He said, yeah. And I said, you know what? Even if she said $30, you should have took it. And he said, yeah, there's always next time. See, that's the problem. People are always so quick to try to get over on fucking people. I didn't, I didn't ask her to go lower. I could have said, hey, would you take 10 Nah, I have 15 bucks. I'd have, pay, I'd have paid 30 for this because I know what they go for. So to get this, this, this Jack Sparrow for fucking 15 bucks is a steal. This other lady, she had a lot of Transformers um, when I first got there. And she wanted um, 10 for a lot of them. Just like this lady, she had a lot of other items for 15 as well. But this is the only one that I thought was worth paying 15. Just like I thought this was the only one that was worth paying 10. She had some other stuff she wanted 10 each on. But I thought this one was uh, the better deal, the Cybertron, for 10 bucks. So I took that. Anybody in their right, anybody in their right mind would have. Now, this one dude, his name is Phil. Um, Puerto Rican from Brooklyn, ironically. Um, he grew up in Bushwick. I grew up in East New York, but my mom lived in Bushwick Projects for a minute, and he wound up being across in another building, and we were talking about that in the neighborhood. It's a small world, man. Um, real cool guy. He lives in the city now. He puts these things together. Now, as I was saying, if you look at the size of this and you look at this, this car is this. He did have another one that he had this body 
Um, I still haven't used my car, but if I, let me see if I show you this, make a difference. You see mine, mine is basic. This car cost, uh, this car cost $900 brand new. And it, this is brand new. I never used it yet. As you see, the wheels never even touch the fucking ground. Look how this looks. Look how basic this looks and everything, right? You see how everything looks here? Now, this is what, when you put almost a thousand into a car. Now, mind you, this car costs, this car costs about, it's a $900 car by itself. Um, this is probably a $200 body. You have to paint them. Sometimes they come painted, but most of the time they come clear and you have to paint it. He didn't do a bad job. And he got this downforced, um, nice metal, uh, what's it called? Um, spoiler, which doesn't come with this car, by the way. Or it probably does, and if it is, it's probably a $250 to $300 because it's basically um, like a what? I think it's like a 1.5 scale or something like that. Um, now you look at the inside. Now he did turn this on. This dude got some sick ass batteries. These, but the only thing about these cars are the batteries. You have to be very careful because these batteries can burn your house down and they are extremely hazardous. So it's very imperative that when you have this stuff, you unplug everything because these things will catch fire and they can cause a nasty, they can cause a lot of issues for you. Um, and um, this bad boy here, as you see, this is the same body. This is the same chassis and everything just about. I think he did change a couple things around. Um, he did. He went with some crazy shit here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it side. Well, I ain't going to put mine on the floor. But it does come on. It works and everything. Look at every. Look at all the guts and everything in here. Um, he, he did a... Right here. He did a... I think he said titanium or aluminum... Um, chassis or something like that. I forgot, but this is nice. This thing, he said it goes like 100. He said he clocked it at over 140, somewhere around 150. He said I think it goes now. Mine's supposed to right out the box, would go for I think it goes up to like because it's the brush, is a street, um, is the 6S, so I believe mine can go up to like 100, 110. So, just to show you guys. Uh, as you see, I mean, of course, this one is dirty because it's been used. But if you look at this, oh, let me let me put this down before I crack it. Now, if you look here, if I move this plastic here, if I don't break it, this is like a metal. Right underneath it, it's like a metal. But look here, that's carbon. You see how my chassis and everything is like plastic. It's like a hard plastic and it's 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 light this one is heavy he went with a lot of um carbon fiber you see how he added this extra stuff here for the batteries you see how this is a chassis on this one right and then here he had them pop out because you see he uh moved it out instead of it being here you, you see how he did so much like everything i mean I mean, the the, the, uh, the the springs and everything is almost the same, but look at this pole. The dry shaft in here is, like, thin, and it's like a piece of metal, right? You see this? This is the dry shaft. See how it's moving and cranking? And this one, you see how thick it is. And you can hear it and feel it. This thing is extremely heavy. Then look at over here. This is basically how this is here. And look at this. So I may go ahead and either put this one up and keep it. Or I might just sell this for $100, $150 less than what I paid for it. And I might go meet up with him and pick up the uh, one of the other two. Um, or I might just keep this one. You know, because I, I, you know, but look here. You see the servos and everything, all the guts and everything in the front. And then look at mine. I mean, um, look at this one I got from him. Yeah, my man. You see how he got this big, huh? What time is it? One hour, Isaiah. And make sure your phone is on. And call every 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 fifteen minutes. I hate to be like that, but we live in a fucked up world, y'all. So you have a little fan here, and this one is a bigger one. So he did a lot of upgrades to this. 
you see this is like all basic Now look at this. Look at all this stuff in here. Like look at all these thick ass. What you know? Like, look how simple this is. Boom, boom, boom. Look how much. Look how crazy all this is. He got fans all on this. All on the other uh, motor. Just to, you know, it, it's crazy. Like the, and this thing is fucking heavy. This has weight to it too, but this thing is heavy. Um, I just want to show you all that. Because, again, this is the same car, same body. But he does have he does have um, this body on uh, one of his other cars. On one of the cars he had there. Um, and this Jewish guy was being an obnoxious fucking prick. He wasn't a Hasidic Jew, but he was one of the other ones that wear that yarmulke bullshit on his head. And he was just being a real asshole to the dude. And I, I, got, I got offended... So I said a lot of I said a lot of slick shit. I know he didn't like it, but I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, um, he wanted because like in 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 English town, not, they used to have clay dirt, but I, somehow they have sand now. And no, you, you're not gonna want to run these on no fucking sand, especially just to show some fucking Jewish prick. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want to do that to some fucking piece of shit, kosher eating motherfucker? Get the fuck out my face, man. That's bullshit. And I was like, nah. I was like, he said, oh, let me, let me run it, run it. I said, why don't you buy it and, and run it then? Why should he fuck up his car, run it for you? You ain't spending money. I said it just like that. Because everybody has this self-entitlement. I'm a serious, I'm a serious nigga. I want something I buy. I ain't going to sit there and, and pull your leg and play games with you because I don't like people doing that to me. If I buy, I'm going to fucking buy. He knew, I was, he knew I was serious. He said, yo, I knew, I knew you were serious. I knew he was going to buy just from the way you was talking to that guy. And by the way, thanks. I said, nah, man, fuck that clown, man. And he was he was looking back, mumbling something with, with his little fucking yarmulke surviving little piece of shit ass bar mitzvah ass fucking friend. Fuck them niggas, man. I ain't intimidated by Jews. To be honest, to be quite honest with you people, I don't like them too much. <laughs> and I got no problem saying that. And I have my personal reasons why. And if y'all don't like it, I don't give a fuck. I've never been I've never been the kind of person to stay away from my feelings and being and being a truthful person. That's why I'm not liked. Cause a lot of people wish they could be me and be like me to be to have the balls to say what the fuck they want to say. And you know, I've never been the kind of person to really give a fuck. I mean, you know, I have a lot of them that I'm cool with. They may that might sound hyper I mean um hypocritical or biased because I just said one thing and said another. And you know, so what? I'm cool with some. Fewer than fewer than most, but whatever. So anyway, this is them side by side. And not only did he just throw in this car, I mean this car's got almost he said about eleven 1 hundred. I don't know it like that. I know it's over five hundred I I could definitely say it's well over five and six hundred just in upgrades. Because you know, I mean these cars are fairly new, so he could be right. I mean he had two other ones there. He knew how to turn them on, everything turned on, everything worked. So it's not like he's full shit. I mean, who knows? You know, maybe he brought a storage unit. He knew about these things or he did research on it. I don't give a fuck how he knew about it. I don't, I don't care if it was his or he got it out of storage. The whole point of the matter is I got a car that's worth almost twice as much as the one that I still have here. And this is basic. This come with these cars, these remotes. I mean, you see how basic and, you know, it's just basic. You know, and look at this one. Now, he said this is like a seven hundred dollar um, controller. I don't really know because I don't know them like that. But I could tell you one thing. I can see a fucking huge difference in size, weight and just qu all out quality. I do know um, this is a great fucking brand because I've had these before on my gas ones, not LED. But I mean, look, I mean, it's like night and day. This side looks like a fucking, like, right from right here, this shit looks like uh, something that goes to your Wi-Fi, and then this damn thing looks like a part of a camera. If you go like this, you would you would automatically think this is part of a camera. That's how crazy this looks. Then you got all this crazy-ass hookup here. I mean, look at this. I don't know. This is like a battery. 
You know what I mean? So he got all this shit hooked up. I mean, it's crazy. Look at all this craziness. This guy does not play. So he either know about this or maybe somebody told him or maybe it is his. Maybe it was his. You know, and, you know, sometimes, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have sold this shit for no $400 with the controller and he also threw this in. But like I said, sometimes people just want people to think that, oh, well, yeah, it's mine. And um, I did this and that. And I did this upgrade and that upgrade just to make you buy it for four versus, hey, well, yeah, I brought these out of storage units. Because sometimes when somebody say, hey, I brought something out of a storage unit, they may think twice and be like, oh, well, how you know it works? Or, you know what I mean? It, I mean, he turns everything on anyway so you can see it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what the fuck it is. But regardless of what it is, I mean, this thing is probably like $50 to $70. Because I have one over here, the passport that I brought when I was with Tony and the guy he took me to. I think I paid over 100 for this. I don't even remember. But Tony, if you remember, you know, um, you know, leave a message in my thing, you know what I mean, uh, on the channel. Let me know. I don't remember, but I also have the batteries for that one here. You sort of keep them separated so they don't burn out and all that shit. So they're already charged. They're probably dead now because I had this before the summer started and <laughs> I have still haven't run it. So I'm not afraid to run it, but I'm not in a rush to run it. So I may go ahead and I may go ahead and post this one up and sell it brand new. Um, Brand new open box, never used. And see what somebody say. I might just put like 800 on it. You know, it'll still be a little cheaper than what you're going to pay for. Especially, it's still brand new, so. Never used. Um, but yeah. You can't beat that. So. Yes, sirree. So that's basically everything. Oh. And this was four hundred. It was. I thought it was a great, a great sell for four. So basically, it would have been twelve hundred. I'm pretty sure. But I said, hey, would you do nine hundred or a G for all three? He probably would have. I don't know, but um, I was, you know, I was, you know, I didn't mind giving him four hundred for this. I really didn't, because um, I know. Again, I just brought this car. Like what? I think June or May. I brought this in Brooklyn. And I paid like 900 for it. So, yeah. Um, or, uh, yeah, I did. I think I did. No. Or did I get this from... No, I don't think I got this from Brooklyn. I got the other one, the little pickup truck from Brooklyn. This one I brought from the guy um, Tony sent me to. So I may take this to him and see if he'll rebuy it or see if he knows somebody who might want to buy it. And I'll just keep this one. You know, I don't know. Whatever. It don't really matter. At this fucking particular point. The season is over now. So, you know, right now it don't really matter. Um, and if he does take it back, he might take it back at a way uh, lower discount. But, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is basically everything, man. So, that's all I got today. So, peace out.